Radius Gold must single-handedly have the absolutely best about paragraph. You say right at the onset, you've got project, projects located in Mexico, the U.S., and Guatemala, Guatemala, and then you clearly explain what you're doing, which you is you're seeking out additional investment and project acquisition opportunities across the globe, and congratulations. It looks like we have one today. Yeah, I mean, my job is to find mines. That's what I do and what I've done forever. So I just try to find great projects and we're constantly on the hunt for those. And I think we have found a new great project. So it's called Tropico. It's in, I can't imagine a better place, actually. Um, there's a few places in the world that are outstanding, um, Nevada and central Mexico for discoveries. And, and Tropico is new, undrilled right in the right place. Okay, so first of all, let's go back to the name, Radius Gold. And I think I read in this news release, which I, I love it, there's photos of the actual project and you standing on the project property. You've resigned from another project so that you can dedicate yourself to the Radius Gold uh, deal. Is that correct? Yeah, well, this new discovery, um, not many people understand that Fresneo District is the world's oldest mining district. It's been going since 1470, no, 1550, so 470 years constant mining. Um, that district has produced over 30 massive deposits, and uh, most of them buried, hidden. Um, and just down the road, we've found a, a great um, target that's undrilled. It's a, it's a gold breacher pipe in one of the world's biggest districts. So um, we're pretty excited about that. And of course, Radius is a member of the gold group of companies led by Simon Ridgeway. So I just want to stress, this is gold, gold. And I think we've got some silver too, yes? Yeah, well, the, the systems in Fresnia are silver dominant, but with gold, lead, zinc, copper, they're zoned. Um, so at our, the new discovery, it's gold at surface. We don't expect to find uh, silver at surface, but they're zoned over depth. So I'm sure that it will change as we go down and we'll get into silver and, and base metals at the bottom of it. But these things go down a kilometre or more. And um, so the gold rich part is right at the top. And Bruce, like the gold group of companies, you guys are very old school. You don't just raise lots and lots of money, um, but you're constantly finding projects, investing, making announcements and moving forward. Would you like to talk about your agreement terms, for instance? Yeah, as you say, gold group is very frugal with our budget. We don't put out stocks. Radius hasn't done a capital raise for an excess of 10 years. Um, so we're very frugal with our money. Our shareholders, with me, Simon, um, a core group of shareholders, we don't like to dilute. So um, we have uh, some cash available to drill this property. Eventually, we'll have to raise money, but you know, not today. So the deal is that we've paid 200,000 cash up front. I've been chasing this property for two years. It's taken me an enormous amount of time to get them to sign. But we paid 200,000, but we can now go ahead and, and drill and test it and figure out what it is before there's any further payments. And then we have about five, four years of, of very low payments. And the big payments only come if we make a discovery. If we find a world-class mine, there's some significant payments, but we've got four or five years to do it. So Bruce, we absolutely love Radius Gold and we're so delighted to get an update from you. I think the last time I spoke to you, I said, Love the Radius Gold model. Would like to hear regular updates. And that was what, six months ago? Yeah, about six months ago. We tend to find all of our projects are grassroots discoveries. We made them all through prospecting. So we've got five projects, six. And there are, you know, we don't usually go to other companies, buy them, advance projects. We go and prospect and find them. 
you know, this recent one is owned by a couple of Mexicans. It's taken me a long time to get them to sign, but all of the projects that we have have never been worked on by anybody else. And I tend to find one once a year, once every two years. So we have a constant flow of good properties. We don't take them on because we think we're going to joint venture them or we're not a joint. We take them on because we think there's going to be a discovery. And sometimes market conditions, financing, we decide to bring in partners. But usually our, my only concept for taking on a project is discovery. And that was the point I was trying to make, Bruce, which is how lucky everybody out there at Investor Intel Land is to even see you and hear how it can be done. Bruce, thank you so much for joining us today and congratulations. Thanks, Tracy.